this year. I'm in yearbook, so I work in the pub lab every morning, and I'm also taking computer science, um, so I'm in this lab also. So I take classes in both the labs. Most of my time is spent in the pub lab, so um, whether I'm doing yearbook or I'm doing a class. While the spaces are functional, they are not optimal for today's learner. The pub lab is cramped. We were trying to look through yearbooks and since there were so many computers, we just had no space to put anything. We had to put them on our laps. Both labs have aging computers plugged into floor outlets with not enough charging stations. Just yesterday I was in the main lab and it, was, it took me five minutes between logging in and loading up my program and my file. And that's a really significant amount of time. In the start of graphic design, it, cooked, it took me a couple tries. There was like a couple computers that didn't really work. One of the major themes in, in architecture and education these days is really mobility. Um, we see how students are uh, throughout the campus and throughout different spaces around, around the school and they're on the floor, they're on tables. And so how can we think about space in a, in a more fluid way? One way to do that is to provide flexibility in each space. By adding movable tables as well as open table space with flexible heights, both spaces can expand and contract based on the needs of the students and the class. It'd be good to get like outlets at all the desks because right now if you want to go charge a laptop you have to sit in the back. It'd be nice to have more flexibility in how we use the space. Uh, let's say, you know, I teach journalism, the kids want to do broadcast journalism, it'd be nice to have an anchor station where we could uh, film from that spot. But right now we just don't have that room. By adding a wall of monitors and a green screen coupled with high definition video cameras, students would have additional creative learning opportunities. Green screen would be super fun and that'd be great for not just the journalism class but also other classes who are making videos. I think if we did have a newsroom having the green screen and desks where we could videotape ourselves to project that onto like our different platforms, all of the new technology would really come in handy. And while students now bring their own devices to school, the computers in these labs would allow for more powerful hardware and software to provide more intensive, in-depth, program-specific courses that require functionality beyond the students' laptops. I think it's cool to see a combination of like words and picture and like visual effect, because I like writing, but I think with that kind of like visual art added to it, it just makes the writing better. They do end up doing anything 3D, um, any sort of 3D mod, which could be really cool. I've, that's never been offered at Overlake, but if it was, I would have taken it. I know that requires a lot of resources. With more powerful computers, you could go into some very interesting stuff. We haven't even thought of how all the ways that students are going to use these. Uh, and so by putting more powerful tools at their disposal, um, who knows what they can do with it uh, and who knows where they can go.